Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and good morning, it's a great morning. I woke up to some brand new Lego images thanks to Extra Bricks Lego on Instagram. We have the official reveal of the brand new Lego idea set, set number 21333, Vincent Van Gogh, The Starry Night. This set has 2,316 pieces and I believe will be retailing for $159.99 USD or $160. It's an 18 plus set with one minifigure and I'm blown away by this thing. It is incredibly impressive and also very faithful to the original Lego Ideas submission. The only real big change was adding the black display frame, which I think was very necessary to actually display this set and gives it that solid 18 plus feel because most of the 18 plus sets nowadays are coming with black frames and that just kind of adds a level of authenticity to most sets. I absolutely love this set so much more than I thought I did and I'm just blown away by how good it looks. The 3D design is incredibly impressive, and I didn't think it would look really great on a black box art, but no, it pops surprisingly well. The front's pretty plain, but on the back, you can see there's an actual picture of the painting itself in the bottom left-hand corner. Right next to it is the Legoized version, so you can compare those pretty accurately, and they're very much almost the exact same painting. All the stars are right, the swirls, the tree, the city, like, it, it's frame for frame, shot for shot, stroke for stroke, perfect. I was not expecting it to be that good of a recreation, but LEGO really did their due diligence on this one. It looks like there's some kind of play feature where you can move part of the frame to display the minifigure version of Vincent as well. Not sure how that works, but there'll probably be a picture for it later. Moving on to the actual minifigure, I'm really impressed here with the level of detail they managed to include. Looks like he has both leg and arm printing, which is very impressive. Not at all needed, but glad to have it. The leg printing is pretty simple, just some lines on it. Not terribly impressive. Same with the arm printing, but that jacket. Oh, I love the color. It's a really nice blue. The vest underneath is a darker color as well. It kind of works really well to pop against the pants. The facial print's pretty plain. I love the beard design. Some very nice hair follicles in there. And he's got a very nice kind of cheekbone and frowning design that kind of shows his concentration. Widow speaking orange was a very good choice for his hair. Very accurate to what I've seen in images. Well, I say images, paintings. I also really love they finally bit, bit the bullet and recolored the paint palette piece to be an accurate palette for whatever the painting is. It's been the longest time that always just being, I think it was like red, yellow, and green or something. Now this is so much nicer. We also have a recolor of the paint brush piece in blue, which is cool. The painting itself, I believe that's a print, not a sticker. Let's go. If it's the sticker, it'd be the only sticker in the set though, so that's there's that. It's a very accurate canvas, and I was not expecting to get a minifigure scale version of this at all, but that'd be so nice to hang up inside some of the modular buildings LEGO makes, just literally anywhere, and I kind of want to buy an extra one of those on Brickling, not going to lie. Uh, definitely looking forward to getting that. If you look on this picture, yes, definitely there is some kind of weird feature. You can move the frame out of the way and display Vincent on a circular tile on top of that, so that's really great that you can add that to your display when you hang this painting up. Not sure exactly how that works or how the swinging motion, you know, feature is like implemented, but it certainly seems like it works very, very well. Painting as a whole is very impressive. There's some really intricate build techniques used, especially in the city down below to get the different angles for buildings. I'm looking notably at like the church and everything, like I'm very interested to see what that looks like. It's also notable that LEGO used printed dishes for all the stars, which was not expected in the slightest. I really thought they'd not print them at all and just, you know, have different colored dishes represent the stars. But I think the printing goes a long way to make this look even better than it could have ever looked before. Love the printing for that. The way this set is built looks like you just layer 50 bajillion plates on top of each other to get the different colors to the background. And while that might be incredibly painful and tedious to make, the overall end result is that you get a beautiful skyline filled with color, filled with different blues, and it's one of the coolest looking LEGO sets I've seen. While the building process might be a bit of a pain, you cannot argue with the final result. The only thing I don't quite like is how 3D the tree gets. It protrudes very, very far, and I think from certain angles, this might look kind of weird or not great, and I'm always worried about the weight when you hang this up. How secure is that onto the actual like painting? Is, is it going to fall at all? But I'm sure LEGO managed to um, like fix that. They, they dealt with that uh, during the building phase, and it's, perf it's a perfect set. So I'm just kind of withholding my full judgment until I actually see reviews of the set in person and everything. But as of right now, I'm beyond impressed. Make sure to leave your thoughts about this set in the comment section down below though, guys. I would love to hear from you. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you indifferent? I was indifferent originally, but now I'm really, really on board and definitely looking forward to getting this for Eli because I know they're going to love it. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a fantastic and safe rest of your day and I'll catch you all in the very next video.